Hi guys, in this video I would like to show you my EDC drawing kit, Willem's Drawing Box. And as a mechanical engineer, I've been part of many different projects. And especially in the beginning phase of a project, after you've defined the requirements and identified the constraints, the concepting phase begins. And that's when this kit comes in. So, the first question is, why do I use so many different pencils? Because all you need to sketch is just a pencil or a pen and a piece of paper. But if you want to make some clean sketches and add more detail, you'll find that it's more convenient to do so with different pencils. And this has the following benefits, namely you'll first get more clean sketches, so your colleagues will interpret your ideas much quicker. You can add more pronounced details to your sketches, and of course, it looks really cool. It gives the impression to your colleagues that you really know what you're talking about, because you're illustrating that on paper. So, I've put the links to all these items, to all these pencils, in the description of this video. So let's dive in. Um, I have a metal ruler over here in centimeters for the normal people and in inches for the not normal people. I only use this ruler to underline uh, titles um, of, of my sketches. And sometimes when I put it down, I have a hard time picking it up. And that's when I use this, uh, these magnets, solving that matter. So when I start sketching, I start with this 2H pencil of Stadler. And you can see I've, I've been using this one for, I think, almost eight years or so. It's a very hard uh, lead. So uh, this one allows me to create uh, soft lines. So this is for basic outlining, basic shape generation on paper. When I'm satisfied with the basic shape on my sketch, I use these 0.5 millimeter mechanical pencils, also of Stadler. I have one in HB and in 2B. I tend to use this 2B pencil more often than the HB. In this one I will just trace the lines of uh, the, the object that I'm sketching. So I have also some 0.5 millimeter pencils over here. But you can see the stickers at the top. This one has a red uh, lead in, to, uh, in it, and this one has a green lead in it. And that's especially useful uh, when I'm sketching a mechanism of any sort, and I want to illustrate uh, how it moves or how it rotates. I have a 0.3 millimeter. Uh, pencil over here that's for really fine lines. I tend not to use this a lot um, and that's really because I don't add too much too much detail uh, in my sketches. It's just for basic ID generation and then I'll just go to CAD. Now as you can see at the background I write down uh, my ideas uh, with text as well. So I have a 0.7 millimeter pencil over here and why do I use this one? Well because it's a bit thicker, it can withstand my high pressure during writing. And if, well, uh, I'm asked to have a really nice detailed uh, sketch with shading, that's when I use this uh, HP pencil. Of course, I do make mistakes in my sketches as well, and I have a mechanical eraser of pencil. Um, yeah, I've been using this one, whew, I think, for three years already and you can see it's really lasting on one uh, fill already and for basic pencil sharpener uh, pencil sharpening I've a sharpener over there and my leads over here so I'm planning to make a separate video uh, illustrating the sketching process um, if you have any suggestions please let me know in the comments uh, don't forget to subscribe for that of course and uh, yeah, that's that's basically it. 